In this video, we will talk about lightning arrestor or diverter, which also known as surge diverter. Nowadays, we are using the metal oxide arrestor that is zinc oxide. This is model number ZLAX 25C. Here, ZLAS type of lightning arrestor with 25 catalog series number of class. See the difference a catalog number according to requirement. This is duty cycle in KV. This is MCOV stands for the maximum continuous operating voltage which we will discuss later in KV. This is discharge voltage according to nominal discharge current. This is serial number which is the number of lightning arrestor equipment which 139,532. Now move on to rated voltage which is 390 kilo volts. Rated voltage is the voltage that the manufacturer specifies for a device or a piece of equipment to operate within. Or it is the maximum voltage at which electrical equipment can be operated. Or according to IEC which stands for International Electrotechnical Commission Rated Voltages. Maximum permissible root mean square value of power frequency voltage between its terminals at which it is designed to operate correctly under temporary over voltage conditions as established in the operating duty tests. Rated voltage equals maximum system voltage multiplied by ground fault factor ground fault factor for effectively solidly grounded system equals 0.8 and or in effectively grounded system value is 1 now comes to nominal voltage or system voltage both are same thing here this is 420 kilo voltage approximately 10 percent more of rated value due to voltage regulation or 1.1 times of rated value Nominal voltage is the generic operating parameters for a given electrical system Example 10, 5, 2.5, 1.5, 1 kilo amper rating, or the voltage at which equipment runs. It is also called system voltage. It is nearly 1.1 times the rated voltage. Now nominal deuce charge current. Here it is, 10 kilo amperes. Nominal discharge current NDC is defined as the peak value of a 20th microsecond surge. Current conducted through the surge arrestor, or NDC is the surge current that flows through a surge arrestor during discharge of an over voltage. Surge voltage that appears across the terminals of an arrestor during that time. It must still function after 15 applied surges. Mostly NDC is 10 kilo amperes for higher rating. Now MCOV stands for the maximum continuous operating voltage which is 303 kilo voltage. MCOV rating as per IEEE Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers the maximum designated root mean square RMS value of power frequency voltage that may be applied continuously between the terminals of an arrestor. 
This operating voltage the designated permissible RMS. Value of power frequency voltage that may be applied continuously between the arrestor terminals. Indefinitely. The continuous operating voltage, COV, is the normal sinusoidal power frequency voltage across the arrestor terminal continuously. COV is usually estimated as nominal system voltage square root 3. The maximum continuous operating voltage MCOV is the maximum permissible value of a sinusoidal power frequency voltage which may be continuously applied between the arrestor terminals. In other words, MCOV is the maximum steady state voltage which the arrestor can withstand on a continuous basis under the normal operating conditions. MCOV is estimated as max system voltage square root 3. The MCOV and COV of commercial arrestors usually bear a margin of 5 to 10 percent depending upon the manufacturer. Note that the margin is given based on the harmonic content in the system voltage. MCOV of the installed arrestor must be equal or higher to the continuous voltage between the phase and earth. Now pressure relief current which is 63 kilo ampere PRC is the maximum current at which lightning arrestor withstand means for relieving internal pressure in an arrestor and preventing violent shattering of the housing following prolonged passage of fault current or internal flashover of the arrestor temporary over voltage capability an arrestor must be selected with a high enough voltage rating to withstand temporary over voltages which might be caused by various occurrences on the system. The most common event causing a temporary over voltage is a single line to ground fall. For an effectively grounded system, such faults will normally be cleared in less than one second. Therefore, an over-voltage capability based on a duration of one second is usually recommended. Also, the below table shows temporary over-voltage capability for a time range of 0.1 to 1000 seconds. Rated frequency of an arrestor, the frequency of the power system on which the arrestor is designed to be used. Puncture, breakdown, a disruptive discharge through a solid flash over a disruptive discharge over a solid surface. Residual voltage, the voltage that appears between the line terminals and earth of an arrestor during the passage of the discharge current. Dot. Here are the list of specifications mentioned on nameplate. Every information required for rating the lightning arrestor but mainly voltage or KV is used as its main work to mitigate over voltage. This is manufacturing year, at which year it is constructed which is 2012 and this is weight of lightning, arrestor or diverter which is 370 kg. Now check nameplate of another lightning arrestor. Here class 2 check class 2 standard. 
type discharge value pressure relief class energy handling capacity etc this is picture of lightning arrestor class 2 this is short in length and mainly installed in topmost area building it does not have grading ring this type of lightning arrestor we will show in description box check the installation video in below link here selection process of different parameters System voltage, maximum system voltage, system earthing, basic insulation levels, LI, SI, line length, energy involved short circuit level system, over voltages surge arrestor selection process. Thanks for watching video. Ask any doubt in video and see other video of lightning arrested such as types, basics, construction in description box.